Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh It's good to see all of you again, my students Okay, so uh, This is the beginning of the topic of chapter 5 Okay, as you see in the screen here now uh, It's divided into four parts First is vectors in three dimension uh, Vectors in called scalar product Vector product and application of vectors in geometry Okay, so without wasting so much time, let's continue So we begin with the first uh, part of the lecture here, vectors in three dimension. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> please refer to your what we call lecture notes. So in this uh, part, we're going to look at the types of vectors, the magnitude, perform addition, subtraction, and uh, scalar multiplication, and also find the direction of the cosine. Okay, so let's take a look at the first part here, definition. A scalar, we call a scalar is a quantity that has only magnitude. Okay, uh, as you see an example here, and vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. Meaning, uh, direction here <coughs> is we could tell us where is the, we call, we call, um, we call the vector moving on to the left, right, or any, uh, we call from one point to another point. Okay, so as you see here, is <coughs> this example here, velocity, force, weight, and momentum. <coughs> so, geometrically, vectors can be represented by a directed line segment. As you see here now, that we have the beginning, the starting point uh, from A to one point of destination here, from tail, the initial point, to the head of terminal point. So from A, look at direction or head of the, we call direction here. So we can put this as a direction, we call the vectors of A, B. Okay. Okay, a vector can be written as a vector of A, B, or we, we can represent with a single vector's uh, notation of U here with a curly sign from A to B, or we can recall with this, uh, we call a label here. So magnitude also called norm denoted as a vectors of A, B, or uh, we call uh, vector magnitude as uh, we call a u here uh, for this one we call this as a so we call uh, the sign of absolute values of the we call vectors of a b or absolute values of what we call the vectors of u here is the length of the line of a b and direction the arrow head on the line of a b as you see here, from A to B, this shows the direction from A to B here. Okay, type of vectors, zero vector. Now, a vector which has a zero magnitude represent by vectors of O, we call the sign of this. And vectors of A, unit vector, a vector which has a magnitude of 1, Denoted as a unit vector of A equal to vectors of A divided by absolute values or the distance of the vectors of A here. And position vector, any vector that starts from the origin of 0. OA is known as the position vector of the point A relative to 0. Means that if this, uh, for example, three dimension of vectors here, x, y, and z, so this is the origin point of 0, 0, 0 to any point of A here, okay? So from 0, 0, 0 to the point of A, so OA is the position vector Okay, 
OA is a position vector. A free vector which is not has a fixed position. Okay, equal vectors. Look at this one here now. Two vectors A and B are equal if both have the same magnitude and the same direction. So we need to consider two things here. First, the magnitude and the direction. Okay. P and Q. Look at that. We call uh, from point of one to another point here. It looks we call the same. And also the direction. Uh, equal. Uh, we call uh, direction are also equal here. But then for P, R and S. P and R. Uh, you can see her direction to once uh, one here and one to another a different direction P and S might be same magnitude but then they have a different direction okay one two okay you see this right that we call this that we call direction here and one opposite direction of the P opposite so P R and S are not equal at all. <coughs> okay, negative negative vectors, negative vectors of A has the same magnitude as an A, but then oppositely directed. Okay, so you can see here now A and A has the same magnitude, but then the direction is opposite. We call different oppositely directed. Okay. And operation of vectors addition. So then the vectors of A and the vectors of B, if we combine here now, it gives us a vectors of A plus B equal to a vectors of AB. Okay, using the triangle law. Okay, now, why do we have two different vectors here? A plus B, then we are referring to this, the vectors from the point here and the vectors of A plus a vector of B, okay, to achieve at this point, okay, at this coordinate. But then, look at this one here now, from this point, then we come, uh, first we using the root of vectors of B and then plus with the vectors of A. So that's why they come up with a different uh, we call addition of two vectors. Even though it gives us the same direction, the same destination last point here, but then because we're using a different route, then it is a, it gives us a different uh, addition of uh, vectors. Okay, using a parallelogram, notice that A plus B equal to B plus A. If A is not 0, the multiplication of a vector by scalar K is denoted by KA. Okay, so this one single vector of A. So look at this one here now. The magnitude of these vectors is double from the vectors of the origin of A. So it's double or two times the vectors of A. And then... This is also double the magnitude of these vectors, but then look at the direction here now. Okay. The direction is oppositely directed or different. And here now, uh, <coughs> this that we call the green line here is half of the vectors of A. If this magnitude is 4, then this is 2, half of the magnitude of the A. So the distance of this is half of the distance of this. <coughs> okay, so here now. If k greater than zero, then k multiplied with a is parallel to the what we call with the vectors of a, and k a has as we call the absolute values of k a equal to k with the vectors of a here distance k multiplied with the vectors of a has the same direction of the vectors of a itself okay 
Okay, I'm not going to explain all one by one, which I think that there's nothing much to uh, recall. We're going to discuss this. It's very directed. Now, when given to us the vectors in two dimensions, look at the vision here. This is the point of origin 0, 0, 0. Okay. With a vector, with a coordinate of 0, 0, and 0. So then, from O to this point of A, we not denote as that uh, we call the vectors of A here. Okay, look at this one here now. O to A from O to A equal to O P from O to P here. From O to P plus with P to Q and Q to A. Okay, even though it took uh, such a long distance okay, to, uh, to reach this point of A, but then because in vectors, we need to consider two things. The first is the magnitude and direction. So, even though we take the three different routes from O to P, P to Q, and Q to A, but because we reach at the same point of destination here, so, we simplify this as an equal to the vectors of OA. Okay. So, from any vectors of A and B, and for any scale of K, then the addition and subtraction of vectors of A plus with the vector of B. So, we adding the magnitude of the same vector direction of i with an i then we get a1 plus b1 for i then a2 with b2 addition of the magnitude of a and b for j and also a3 with b3 for k then uh, subtraction of two vectors uh, opposite of this with a uh, we call we only operate between the magnitude of the i with an i, j with a j, and k with k. Okay, as you see on the screen here now. Multiplication of vector by a scalar. So vectors of a will multiply with a k. And also let's say if I given given here make the vectors of a equal to 3i minus 2j plus k so then uh, 2 times a means that is 2 multiplied with 3i minus 2j plus k so 2 times 3 equal to 6i 2 times negative 2 equal to minus 4j 2 times 1 equal to 2k Okay, that's example here. And the magnitude of a vector here, absolute values with a distance of this, uh, A square plus B A2 square plus A3 square. And unit vectors, uh, unit vectors of the uh, vectors of A equal to the vectors of A itself divided by the uh, distance or absolute values of the vectors of A. So, as you see in the screen here now, the magnitude of A where I, J, and K divide by the distance of uh, the vectors of A itself. And direction cosine of vector. So, from the origin point of here, O or 0, 0, 0, so direction of direction of cosine of vector. Okay, this is the we call uh, an angle from the vec from the x axis to the uh, vectors of O to A, and beta uh, 
represent the angle between the uh, vector, what we call y axis with the vectors of OA and here uh, gamma represent the angle between the uh, z axis with the vector line of O to A. Okay. So vectors of A, O, A, as, an, as you see, as we here now, A, I plus A, 2, J plus A, 3, K. If A makes an angle of alpha, beta, and gamma with a positive direction of X, Y, and Z axis respectively, then, okay, so cos alpha equal to the magnitude of A, 1, which is I, divided by the uh, distance or absolute values of the vectors of A, cos beta and cos gamma, as you see, 3 here now. So, direction angles of vector of A, alpha equal to a cos of A, we call magnitude of I, A1 divided by the modulus of A, also with B, and also and here for gamma. Okay. And note that cos square alpha, okay, cos square alpha here plus cos square gamma beta and cos square gamma equal to 1. Okay, there is a given example here. If A equal to, the vectors of A equal to negative 4i plus 2j plus k and uh, vectors of B given then negative 3i plus j uh, plus k. So, find the absolute values of A, vectors of A, and the unit vector of A. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, I re uh, rewrite or write again the both of vectors of A and B. When vectors of A equal to negative 4i plus 2j plus k, and the vectors of B equal to 3i minus 3j plus k. Okay. So then, the first question given then, find the, uh, this one here. Which means that we are going to come up with this formula of negative 4 square plus 2 square plus 1. Sorry. Okay. 1 square. Okay. So come up here now. Square of 4 equal negative 4 square equal to 16 plus 2 square equal to 4 plus 1 square equal to 1. 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 1, then you come up with square root of 21. Okay, so then the unit vector, the unit vector the unit vector of A okay, equal to the vectors of A divided by uh, absolute values or distance of the vectors of A, which is negative 4i plus 2g plus with k divided by square root of 21. Okay, so then we list down here one by one, it is negative 4 divided by square root of 21 i plus 2 divided by square root of 21 j plus with 1 over square root of 21 k. Okay. Then for question B, please refer to the, we call the lecture notes then. The direction cosine and direction angle of vector of A. So then direction cosine is 
So the reaction cosine of vectors of A, which is cos alpha equal to Okay, direction cosine for each of these cos alpha equal to negative 4 divided by square root of 21. Okay, cos beta equal to 2 divided by square root of 21 and cos gamma equal to 1 divide by square root of 21 okay so now the direction angle direction angle of the vector of a okay so which is negative 4i plus 2j plus k is given then okay actually that we get it all the answers from here okay look at the first one here now from cos alpha equal to negative 4 divided by square root of 21 then alpha equal to uh, cos of negative 4 divided by square root of 21. Okay, so <coughs> if I manage to find get the answers using the calculator here, press the button of shift and cos and it gives you a uh, cos. Okay, and then set up recall the calculation then. It is negative 4, okay, divided by square root of 21, okay, as you see it's straight here now, then press the, press the enter button here, okay, so, it gives me 150, Point eight degree. Okay. So now, this is for alpha. So what about the rest of it? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna clear this class. Then I, I think that I'm gonna solve all this in your examination. Please write it properly, and the answers recall in one page, and then. If the page is full, please go to another page. For these uh, lectures, I just write down all here not to recall. Uh, wasting so much time here. Okay, now, according, look at this one here. Cos beta equal to 2 over square of 21. So then, beta equal to a cos of 2 divided by square root of 21. Okay, so press the button at uh, cos here. Press the button of shift and cos. It gives you a cos. Okay, and then setting up the, we call the formula inside, which is according to that one is 2 divided by square root of 21. Okay, as you see in the screen here now. And press the button equal. What you see in the screen here now? It gives us 64.1. Okay, so you may repeat the process to find that we call the value angle of gamma here. And I strictly give you the value of this gamma equal to 77.1. 4 degree. Okay, so we get three values of angle, direction angle of vectors of alpha, uh, vectors of A here. Okay. Okay, oh, okay. We reach the conclusion, which I think that you almost at the end of the 
uh, we call at the end of the lecture here now. Okay, so I'm not gonna we this we call this look at this formula before. Wait a minute, which I think that I'm only answering question of A and B only, right? A, B, and wait a minute. I only answered the question of A and this one here and also question of B. So I forgot to continue with the question of C. Okay, never mind. Again, rewrite the vectors of A equal to negative 4i plus 2j plus k and the vectors of B. Okay, sorry, it's the vectors of B then here. Vectors of B equal to 3i minus 3j plus k. So question C is uh, find the vectors of A plus with B. So look at this one here now. Uh, magnitude of I with negative 4 plus 3I plus with uh, magnitude of J which is 2 plus negative 3K, 3J, sorry. Three j plus with k one k and one k k one plus one four k here so negative four plus three equal to negative i two plus negative three so two minus three equal to negative one j and one plus one equal to two and the next question is 2a minus 3b. So 2 times vectors of a negative 4i plus 2j plus k minus 3 times the vectors of b 3i minus 3j plus k. Okay, so multiply k, the constant of k with every single magnitude here, 2 times negative 4, negative 8i, plus 4j, plus 2k, and then minus 3i, 3 times 3 equal to 9i, negative 3, negative positive 9j, minus 3k, so negative 8 minus 9, negative 17i. 4 plus 9 equal to 13j and 2 minus 3 equal to negative k. Okay, there you go. Okay, so uh, we call the sign of the factors there. Okay, the conclusion, as you have seen here now, the magnitude and unit vector direction of a cosine here. So, there's an exercise for you to try. Okay, so... Okay, what if I give you all the final answers of this? Uh, For we call the vectors of A B. Okay, the we mentioned the the position vectors of A points A and B. So it means that this is the vectors of O A, and this is the vectors of O. Sorry. Vectors of O, B, okay, okay. 
So this one, where if I give you the AB here, try to find that by yourself, it's going to give you negative I minus 3J plus 4K. Okay, the distance or what's the values of vectors of AB, and this one <coughs> gonna give you square root of 26, and the unit vectors of AB, and here, <coughs> okay, which I think that negative 1 over 20, uh, square root of 26, negative 3 divided by square root of the 26, and 4 divided by square root of 26, okay, and then see the relation vector. From the, uh, from the unit vector of AB, one by one that I mentioned to all of you just now, negative 1 over 26, negative 3 over the square of 26, and 4 divided by square of 26, then find that alpha, beta, and gamma. The same process that I showed you just now in the example 1. And position vector of point P, which divide AB in the ratio of 1, 2. Okay, for this one, Give you person gave me go find the position vector of point P which divide AB in the ratio of 1 2 so that OP okay the vectors of OP equal to uh no <coughs> it is 1 over 3 then the, we call the vectors of magnitude of i, j, and k, it is a, 3, 8i plus 3j, and 1k. So, please try to get answers of all this, okay, by yourself. Okay, so class, uh, this note, uh, made by one of my colleague, Mr. Rodi, okay, and he was the first in my unit that, uh, with his in initiative and efforts to bring up all the videos of, what we call explanation of, uh, finding the, finding the solution of the maths, uh, of maths, uh, subject. And as you see here now, is all the videos uh, referring to the subject topic of vectors. So you may refer to his videos, and I do hope that his videos really helps you a lot to understand the recall, the content of the topic of vectors in this syllabus. I can say also that we uh, the list of the video playlists that you can uh, you find it by yourself. And that's all for today. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And have a nice day.